Dude, if there's nobody here, I'm stealing that car. What a nice stolen car scenario to end up end with. Yep. Red Baron. That's There's pretty... nobody here. I'm gonna wait for those cops to leave. I would advise so. Also, why is why am I Chinese all of a sudden? <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I'm Chinese. Why am I Chinese, you racist fuck? I'm fucking Chinese. Look at my face. Uh huh. Are you Just... trying to be racist? No. There was an actual difference in the bones between people from China and Asia and <laughs> everywhere. Uh -huh. Nice try, though. Shoot. Dude, the longer we leave this car, the more it is suspicious. Do you want to just hop in it now? Yeah, go for it. I'm coming. No, I want to be the passenger. I've already got away with half a ton of fucking weed today. That oh, pull. Oh, no, I can get in. Well, this was easy. It's a nice car. Yeah, when we get pulled over and they say, okay, who's this car registered to? What are we going like, to answer? Oh, no. I'll be like, to be honest, we're 24 7, doors were unlocked, we hopped in. <laughs> so you're just going to admit it? Yeah. That charger just pulled out. Your hazard lights are on. Are they? Yeah, look at the back. Oh, they were. How much gas do we have? 27. Yeah, I'd advise filling it. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, that's mine. I'll report it in. My character who owns that got robbed and was transported by EMS. So we just robbed some dude's car. <laughs> we did. I knew it was his. Oh. I didn't. <laughs> and we're running if we got pulled over, right? Well, I'll stop. I'll tell him you told me it was your car. I'm just going to deny that. I'm putting it back. Now cops seen us drive it. <laughs> He's still a 911 channel. I'm out. You're taking it? I'll well, yeah, we've you. told him it's been stolen now, so... Nice simple challenge for us. Get to Simeon's. Okay. If we get to Simeon's, it's successfully been... Oh, I just ran that. It's successfully been stolen. Or we could just rock up to the party on Grove Street. <laughs> I'm down. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Just drive normally. I'm mean, gonna just see it now, the dispatcher. All units prepared to copy a bolo. All units be on the lookout for a red and black Ubermax Sentinel plate Romeo Echo Delta Bravo Alpha Romeo Oscar November. Stolen from 24-7 in Sandy Shores. We should go bring it to him at the hospital. <laughs> Seems legit. Oh, that's a cop. Shit, dude. Yeah. What did I do? <laughs> Love you, Matt. <laughs> That's amazing. All I did was pull over and I'm like, what did I do? I'm like, I heard a blue. I looked behind me and you were there. <laughs> I'm like, I swear your lights were on.
That's amazing. <laughs> That's All fucking right. awesome. Oh, come on, motherfuckers. Dude, I pulled over for nothing. Right. Right? Because he didn't have me light up, so then he lights me up, whatever, and he's like, nah, man, I just, you pulled over, so I thought I'd come see if you're okay. I'm like, alright, so I'm free to go. He's like, yeah, alright. I'm like, peace. And I left. Well, you probably saved my ass doing that, so I do appreciate it. You're welcome. Where are you? I'm by Simeon's on my way to Grove. I'm going the back way, though. What do you mean, the back way? Well, I'm not going down Strawberry Ave. I'm going to okay, approach I from will. Forum. Fucking prick. Typical BMW driver. What? Uh, just weaving in and out of traffic. You? Yeah. Oh. I'm not waiting at every single fucking stop sign. Shit, I got a cop on me. Where are you? By Grove Street. Make it to Grove Street. Why? Because I'll meet you there and I'll pick you up. I'm being lit up on the like intersection by the Mega Mall. Okay, so just pull over into Grove Street. I'm almost there. What are you gonna do? Just pull in. Oh. Save the day. Yeah, what does that mean? You'll see when I get there. Yeah, I'm worried. There's another cop across the street from me. I just ran three red lights, almost at you. No, oh, I got another car coming after me. Words. Let's use words to get out of this. Yeah. Well, they're not priority stopping me. That's good. If you go down Grove, take the next left. That's where I am. You're down Grove? Yeah. So go down Grove, take the first left. Uh, oh, okay, you're down Grove, past the gas station kind of thing? Yeah. Like, down Grove or on the other side? Uh, down Grove. Okay. How's it going, sir? Uh, Officer Steven with the LSPD. The reason I got you stopped is you are doing a 52 coming in at 35 on forum. Any particular reason for the speed? Nah, no, shit, man. Um, I just wasn't really paying attention to the speed, though. Okay. Yeah, you been smoking any day? Smoking anything today? Like weed? I got got a bit of marijuana coming from my nose here. Uh, I had a bit earlier, but that was like this morning. I think it's just stuck on my clothes, maybe. Okay. Uh, you want to get your uh, driver's license, registration, proof of insurance for the vehicle? Um, here's my license. My name's Shay. Uh, I don't have the registration. It's my friend's car. Okay, what's your friend's name? Um, if I'm being 100% honest, I don't know. He just, you don't know your friend's name? Well, I just said friend, hoping you wouldn't ask more questions, but... Casual acquaintance, he offered me like 500 bucks to drive this down to the uh, container yard over there. Where's this party down Grove okay. Street? And what was your last name, Shay? Uh, Decon Victor. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, um, while we get this all figured out here, since I didn't smell marijuana, you want to step out for me? We'll just talk on the sidewalk? Yeah, no worries. Alright. Hey, I'm just going to pat you down for weapons and stuff like that, okay? Is that alright? Yeah, I don't have it. Well, I've got a diamond on me, but that's my girl. You got a what on you? A diamond. Okay, yeah, I'm not worried about that. No, they got you out of the car. 
Yeah, I'm trying to black it off. Okay. And I'm just gonna put these cops just to tame at the moment during this time. Okay. Um, I gotta go. Where's the mar You had the marijuana in the car? No, I smoked I it at home. As I said, I think it's stuck to my clothes or something. Alright, I'll catch yep, you later, that's buddy. Yeah, smell linger. Um, kind of hang out here. I gotta confirm one more thing with my uh, dispatcher, and then I'll come back and talk to you. Okay. How's it going tonight, sir? Yeah, about the same as it always goes. Safe, pretty fast. Catch okay. you in a bit. Yeah, it's What's right your there. name? Uh, Shay. Shay what? Decon Victor. I told that guy over there my name. Okay. How'd you get the vehicle? Um, a casual acquaintance of mine. Well, someone I know online. Uh, offered me 500 bucks to drive it down to the container yard for him. Said that, well, it kind of a jumbled story, but from what I could make of it, he was drunk up in the county somewhere, so he got an Uber home, and then he asked me to pick it up. Okay. Is there any reason why the, uh, the registered owner of the vehicle would be reporting it stolen? Um, not a clue. Okay. Well, right now that's what it is. It was Nigel, the guy that offered me to take it down here. Okay, his, his name was Nigel? Yeah, Nigel, at Big Mac 34. Okay. Well, <laughs> N Nigel is not the registered owner of the vehicle either. Ah, uh, no. Is this going to be one of those yeah, scam so type that. deals? I think that's what happened with you, man. Um, we just confirmed with our dispatcher the vehicle was reported stolen about an hour ago. Um, do you know the person that you kind of bought it off? Yeah, he goes by the handle on um, 5chan of at Big Mac 34. He's, his name's Nigel. Okay, because the registered car owner reported it stolen. Um, and that name is not the registered owner. Um, so oh, I shit. think your friend Nigel may have had a stolen, gotten a stolen vehicle, and then it, you know, you're in possession of a stolen vehicle, so, um, this is, uh, I mean, it's one of the situations you get caught up in, you, my recommendation is you go to a regular car dealer and do it that way, but, uh, yeah, right no, now, I'm, I'm stolen, man. I'm not buying it, I'm delivering it for him, down at the container yard over there. Yeah, and I totally get that. Of a it's stolen vehicle. Yeah. Unfortunately. Subpossession, unfortunately, when it comes down to it. Uh, this sucks. Yeah, I apologize, yeah. man. We just gotta roll with it. So far, you've been cooperative, so we may let you off with a sort of deal here at the end of this. But I do have to take you in for possession of a stolen vehicle. Uh, I'm gonna waive the speeding. I'm not gonna drop that on you. I no, appreciate Since this that. This is more of a bigger issue. Oh, you're telling me. <laughs> uh, so right now you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you're going to afford one, one will be appointed towards you. You understand these rights? Yeah, I've been through this a few times for various things. Yeah, he, he, he messaged me. He was like, hey, I... Well, as I say, it was all jumbled. But... From what I can make of it, he basically said that he got an Uber home and his car was up there next to the 24-7 in Sandy. Keys are in it. If I go pick it up for him then and deliver it to Container Yard, he'll give me 500 bucks. Seems like easy money. Yep, one Nigel. No profile or uh, no license picture. No valid license. Damn. So. Okay, well, like I said, we have really, an investigator coming really down. Really old, though. Very, very old. About 85 years old. Uh, I so. doubt it was him then. Jesus. Yeah, listen, well, like a a, fake name. That, that Nigel is uh, well, like a bad character. Like I said, we have an to come down and talk to you. <laughs> just to get more information. <laughs> that just occurred um, to me. You know, I may mean, just go as far as writing you a notice to appear for this and letting you go today. But you can't be going in this vehicle, unfortunately. But we'll wait for the investigator to come down. No, okay. Cool if I clear, Steve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that Nigel clear is you Matt's say, character. Hey, to you. That's if funny. If someone actually wants to drive the vehicle over to the LTD and park it, 
Yeah, I'll go do that. I figured I'll wait in the area until he gets here anyway. So you guys can clear up. Yeah. The uh, car was clear up, so I searched it. Gotcha. Alright. Um, I'm gonna take you out of those cuffs. There's no need for it right now. Uh, I want you to be more relaxed than all the stress. Nah, I appreciate it. A cigarette wouldn't go mess. Yeah, you can smoke and then, uh, um, just kind of, uh, yeah, kind of hang out here. Hmm, I could run right now. Alright, so, well, I have him out of cuffs right now. He, um, he knows he's getting charged with possession of a stolen vehicle, but he's saying that he bought it off of someone else. So I think that someone else was the original carjacker. I don't know if you want to investigate it or try to see if you get more details out of this guy. Uh, but I think there might be some sort of ring, car, car theft ring going up in Sandy. Hmm, it's an interesting theory. Hi, uh, good evening. How are you doing? Hey, how's it going, buddy? Oh, good. So your name was Shay? Yeah, man. Oh, okay, man. You're saying uh, you you bought this vehicle of somebody else? No, what happened was I'd spent a lot of time on the internet on a site called 5chan and uh, a guy on there who his profile said he was local said that he got drunk and had an Uber home yesterday said that his car was up in Sandy with the keys in the ignition told me where to find it and that he said if I go pick it up, deliver it to the container yard over there, he'll give me 500 bucks cash. He said it was by the 24-7 uh, up there in Sandy with the keys in the ignition. And he, <laughs> Funny enough, he said that he was worried about someone stealing it. Okay, and where were you supposed to, uh, where, where were you supposed to bring the car? Uh, he said just go to the back end of the container yard over there, like the big Port of LS one. Okay, yeah, that's that's all my questions for now. So, uh, I'm gonna hand you back to this officer and he's gonna take care of the rest. Yeah, no worries. I love the way I just bullshitted all of oh, that. Okay, mate. Have a, have a good day. Yeah, hopefully you find this I'm guy. I'm with him if you are. Uh, well, I'm sure uh, we'll keep an eye out. Okay, I'm, uh, I have no further questions for him if you uh, want to continue with your side. Yep. Thank you, Ricardo. No problem. Alright, Jay, so I'm going to show you on the tablet here. It's our new updated technology. So you'll see your profile here, your record. So I'm going to be, you're going to be charged with, unfortunately, with the possession of a stolen vehicle. But I'm also going to just put there that um, it's, it's, you're going to, it's a notice for a PR for it, So you don't have to go to jail tonight. <laughs> you'll fight it off in court. And uh, hopefully <laughs> um, you'll be fine with that. It's only a misdemeanor offense too with the possession of a stolen vehicle, which is really nice. So <laughs> the worst case scenario is you get, you get charged with a misdemeanor, which um, is not as aggressive as a felony, <laughs> even though you already have felonies on your record. Um, um, but if you just want to go to bed and sign the, the bottom animation. of this electronically, um, you'll receive a copy in your email that's attached to your file, and uh, they'll give you a court date later on to fight it off in court, and then you're free to go. Um, you just have to walk or find an Uber from here, unfortunately. Yeah, no worries, man. So, as I said, I'm sorry, I, I didn't realize. No, it's no problem. Do you have any questions for me before we uh, head out of here? No, as I said, I'll go back and check my profile, see if I can find out anything. Alright, yeah, if you get any more information, uh, just contact us. We'll get in touch with the, the investigator you just spoke with, and he'll add more details to his investigation, and hopefully we'll get that edit steal and the vehicle's caught. Yeah, hopefully. Alright, um, I guess have a good, gay, a good day. A good day. Yeah, you too. I know the car owner's coming for his vehicle. Uh, he'll be going to the LTD. If you want to speak with him and apologize, or maybe he can give you a ride somewhere. Uh, yeah, I might go I do that. Him. I oh, just turned the vehicle going? back over to him. Yeah. Uh, okay, well. He yeah, was no appreciative, though, that uh, the vehicle was driven well, no damage or anything. He was happy about that. Well, having a bit fast, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you were doing 52. Inform. Alright, um, am I free to go? 
Yeah, you're good. Thank you. Uh, have a good day then, guys. You too, you too, sir. Well, that went better than I thought it would. That animation cracked me up. <laughs> right, anyway, guys. Um, I was about to say that's quite a short episode, but probably isn't, actually. I'd say probably 17, 18 minutes after editing. Um, so, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And the magic bell icon. Apparently, if you click that, you see a unicorn. That was terrible. I just made that up. <laughs> um, and while you're down there, make sure you click the link in the description for my Discord. And I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.